people, Jack here. I wanted to break down uh, kind of my interpretation of boots of Spanish leather today, uh, Bob Dylan tune. Although, in all honesty, this version is more based on the mandolin orange version uh, that's on Audio Tree. I'll throw the link in uh, in the post. Um, and it's a really kind of it's an amazing little it's simple simple progression, but um, the right hand is is challenging. And if you watched um, a couple of lessons ago, I did a Travis picking breakdown on kind of a one pinch, one pinch, three and four and pattern. Um, and if you want review on that, check out that lesson because um, this builds on that pattern combined with a different pattern. Um, and I am playing it with capo on the second fret. Um, which puts us in A. The Bob Dylan version, the original version, is capo first fret, I believe, in A flat. So let's break down the left hand here. So it's pretty simple progression left hand wise. It's E minor, shape, right? It's an F sharp minor, but E minor, we'll talk relative chords here. E minor. take these two fingers and whoosh, jump to the E string there and the G there and then we're gonna put our pinky there and this is actually an inver uh, first inversion of a D major chord with an open we're gonna leave the open E so we'll get a, a suspended second there ah, that's nice and this really serves to create a walking bass line here from from E, F sharp, G, which brings us to our final chord, which is a G major, but we're gonna set this up, we're gonna build it kind of weird. Um, this is kind of how you build your G7 chord here. So ring finger takes the root note, pinky grabs the same note on the high E, and then this gives us the ability to do this hammer on pull off dealy. So we have a G. Well, I'm muting the A string there. So we're not really getting that, that, what would be the third in your normal G. So check it out. And then you're hammering on basically an A minor seven shape. If I take away the rest, it's an A minor seven shape. So that's relative to the capo, second fret of the D and first fret of the B string. So that gives you cool. So let's go through the progression really slow. You can strum it if you want, if you don't even want to worry about the finger picking. always uses that passing chord and is quick. Uh, the only thing that changes with the progression is that the E minor gets shortened every other time uh, when the lyrics come in. So it's, uh, I'm sailing away my one And the D, we are playing, we're using the one pinch three and four end pattern that is in lesson 11, which is a couple weeks ago. So basically half, half of the song is one pinch three and four and one pinch. 
and you can kind of choose which which notes you're actually or which strings you're actually using for this. I'm kind of avoiding the high E until I get to the G. So I'm basically going, I'm pinching, I'm alternating. So my thumb alternation is E, D all day. So whenever you're building these patterns, start there. Start with your thumb, that's gonna drive the whole thing. And just hang on each chord. I guess I am plugged. So I'm going one pinch, and I'm pinching the high E and the D, and then three and four and is happening on three and four and, and I'm using actually these three fingers for this pattern, but you can just use these two if you want with your thumb. Um, that will be easier. And again, I'm trying to not brace. Covering bracer. So here we go. So right at this point, before the hammer on happens, that is where, or right when the hammer on comes in, is where the pattern will change to our right hand pattern to a pinch on the one count. So it'll be a, a one two a pinch, two, three, and four, and. So subtle change, it's just where the pinch is happening. Pinch, two, three, and four, and. Pinch, two, three, rather than one. Pinch, three, and four, and. So, let's see that again. don't worry about the transitions until you get the pattern smoothly so when I was working on this I have to hang out here a lot and practice this and then I'm doing that little walk down or you could add more if you want to add more there that's in the Dylan version he does a lot of those kind of little flourishes the remembering all the lyrics. Have a great day, everyone.